Good morning, Sabah al Khair, Buenos dias, my friends and family. Today I'm going to check uh, a new spot to do my SUV, the stand up battling. So I have it here in the car with me. So stay tuned. So hello guys and welcome back to another episode uh, I just arrived to the beach Well, this beach I used to go to the other side There are two like proper beaches with sand beaches But uh, they do some uh, construction So that was like disappointing And that was actually a surprise for me Because otherwise I would have to jump from here to the water Over the ro those rocks So please guys don't forget your uh, water Because it's too hot it's uh, plus the salt water, it makes you very dehy dehydrated So don't forget your water and any belongings with you Like the car keys and everything Put them in like, this is uh, a waterproof bag Actually it came with this board In the same package, so I'm using it more often and This is as well a very good um, uh, product to keep your uh, water cold for a longer time so Everything is here Car keys, the most important And they have those bungees It's like you can attach your stuff here safely No issues Okay, now the mission is how to move this to the water As you all know, this is a leash, so you attach it here in case of any incident, not to lose your SUV. The wind is not very strong, which is uh, very good for the SUV, otherwise it will move you away. If it's too windy, it will be against you sometimes, it will be with you sometimes, so I prefer whenever you go for SUV, don't go in a windy day. Okay, let's do this. Oh. Well, any a small mistake, I'm screwed. And as you see, I'm wearing my uh, my reef boots, so it helps me helps me a lot for not sliding. Also, USUB, you never, you never know where you're gonna go. Maybe you'll stuck with reef, maybe you'll stuck with mud. So, it's, uh, it's recommended to, if you don't know the beach, that you're gonna SUB or you cruise with the SUB. So, I recommend to use those boots, those ones. Now what? Now what? Okay. 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 Okay, I'm almost arrived here safely. I'll, I'll hold this because I will need my other hand. Uh. Oh. Oh. And here we go, we touched the water, we touched the water, I did it! Whew. But to be honest, it's worth it. It's really worth it. Because this moment, when you jump like that, this is the most... Woo, look at this fish! This is the most happiest moment 
you can ever feel after this all effort bumping setting it up the temperature is 42 degrees it's so humid here so i'm not gonna go through um, the techniques of how to use the paddle board because it needs stations and times to set like this first of all then to stand up on it because it's stand up paddling so you'll have to stand up while you paddle uh, how to hold the the paddle board the paddle itself so inshallah in a different episode i'll go through through all those details just let's enjoy this moment together at this time it's so beautiful now wow so beautiful now so as i can see the what's called the current takes me to this side so i'm battling first of all again is the tide because it's a low tide so it pushed this back this way and uh, the way coming back to the same spot this will be the the easiest part so let's start the journey Oop. 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 Oof. that's amazing i didn't do this for a long time for a long time Well, it's crazy to come, um, especially in those Gulf countries, uh, in 12, now it's almost 12.20. Um, it's so hot, the sun is so strong. So usually people, they, they do the SUV or any sports or beach activities by the afternoon before the sun goes down. But for me, to wake up early, to, uh, to use your time in day, day off, today is a day off, the weekend so to, to use your time early which is okay so you can do or enjoy the rest of your day after the this beautiful SUB session even I would prefer to come earlier like 7 or 8 in the, in the morning it's much much better so now I'm gonna take you for a tour around Four Seasons Bahrain this building this beautiful building so we're gonna go a tour around it it's so good it's not very windy which is help uh, in the speed because otherwise if it's really windy above 15 or 16 km per hour the wind pushes back your body as a sail so if you battling against the wind this is a really big issue so we are in October and it's still so hot. It's supposed to be a bit cooler than this in October. It's still crazy hot. So I believe and I'm looking forward for November and December. So I don't do all these efforts by bumping the board or moving from here and there. Hopefully I can find another sand beach because this one is closed for some um, construction. So yeah, it's much fun when it's a bit cooler, chill than this because it's a bit humid and really, really hot. Woohoo! Look at this building, look at this beautiful building. So the wind now is actually against me. Uh, so I have to double effort to be a bit faster. So otherwise I will be pushed back by the wind. I don't have any engine here, I don't have any anchors here, so you have to check the weather very carefully before you start the SUV, otherwise it's a bit, a bit risky. I'll try to go uh, a bit near this shadow, this wall with this beautiful uh, hanging trees it's a bit shallow here wow look at this it's a bit shallow here oh my god first time to see this because it's very low tide 
So this is what I'm talking about. You have to use those boots all the time because you never know where you're going to stuck at. So um, just to be in the safe side. Lots of small fishes down there. See, and now I'm stuck. Now I'm stuck. Oh, oh, oh. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's so shallow. So the fins under the board uh, touch the sand, which is okay, but try to avoid those things to keep your fins to live with you longer time, to avoid any damage. But wow, again, this is so beautiful. Again, plastic bags everywhere. Please, people, please stop throwing your garbage, your plastic in the water. Please stop. Wow, this is so beautiful. So, look at this beautiful building. This is Four Seasons Bahrain Bay. And look at this beautiful area. Look how beautiful is this area. Okay guys, so I just want to tell you a brief about uh, this channel. This channel, uh, it's called Outdoor Step, means everything belongs to any outdoor activity, not just fishing, not just snorkeling, not just SUV, not just surfing, anything related to any um, beautiful outdoor activities that you can do during the week or during the weekend, at night, in daytime. So it's Outdoor Step means any outdoor activities, not just snorkeling, not just SUV. So again, I would love to thank everyone supporting me to this channel and I would love to thank everyone subscribed or, or, or supported us by anyhow from our friends or our families. So uh, there is one more person. I really want to thank him so much. The person who taught me how to surf, the, the person who taught me how to fish, the person who taught me how to snorkeling, the person who taught me everything belongs to beach life and everything in my life which is my father. So thank you, Baba, so much for the gift you gave it to me in my life, which is the water, the beach, the beach life. Before that or without it, I would be nothing without this beautiful beach life. So thank you, Baba, so much. And I would love to say it in Arabic as well. Uh, I love a person here. The person who taught me everything in my life, especially anything related to the water, anything related to the water, بالمتعة الحياة في البحر هو اللي علمني ركوب الأمواج هو اللي علمني صيد السمك بكل أنواعه هو اللي علمني سنوركلينج هو اللي علمني زي أختص هو اللي علمني كل حاجة في حياتي وتشيز أبويا شكرا يا بابا لكل اللي علمته لي في حياتي دي جميل هيفضل علي طول عمري اديتني هدية في حياتي اللي انت تاخدني للحياة الجميلة دي من غيرها فعلا أنا كنت حبا إنسان مختلف خالص بحب أشكرك جدا 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 من قلبي على الهدية اللي انت اديتها لي في حياتي اللي انت تاخدني للبحر وانا صغير تعلمني ركوب الموج تعلمني أصطاد تعلمني كل حاجة متعلقة بالبحر شكرا لك قوي على الهدية الجميلة دي Thank you So I just finished the tour around the Four Seasons Bahrain here in Bahrain Bay and I am in my way coming back. It's almost zero wind now at the moment. It's so uh, glassy water and I'm not doing any effort to battle. It's so nice. So I think I will use the SUV again to come here maybe my next weekend to do a fishing session over the SUV 
and we'll see what we can catch around the four season because I saw lots of things down there and well in a good sizes and I'll try if I can catch any of them uh, or what is the best way to use for fishing to catch those fish around the hotel so again I'm going back now to the same uh, suffer I don't know how I'm gonna climb these uh, rocks again well maybe it was much easier to go down but to uh, to climb using this uh, carrying this SUV I'm not sure it's gonna be easy well I can't wait to be honest to bring my fishing gear and come here for a fishing session over the stand-up bottling okay bark 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 stop amazing amazing let's do this okay That's not easy at all. Oh, I'm halfway, almost. Oh, I did it! Oh God. All right, so we are back here to where we came from. I will deflate uh, the air so I can put it back to the car. So deflating is so easy, just open this and push this down, this button, push it down to let all the air go out that's it uh, so next time I'll bring the SUP I will go for a tour again around uh, four season because I saw lots of nice size fishing around me no one is fishing there so it's lots of fish down there uh, I will figure out uh, the best way to catch those fishes on top the SUP uh, well, I never tried this before. I will, it's gonna be the first time to try it. So wish me a good luck. I will bring my fishing gear with me and we'll see this together what I'm gonna catch. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, again, don't forget to subscribe, please. Because every single subscribe is encouraging us a lot to do more and more videos. So see you in the next one.